Yo guys, it's Sugi and continuing with my reviews of games, this time I'll be doing a Strife review. And those who did not know, the game just went to open beta, so you're now able to try it out. And please use my referral link down below, it would personally help me quite much if you did. But let's talk about the game. So I did first impressions video about Strife back in December, that's 8 months ago. And I did a bit of break and now I kind of been coming back to the game and seeing what has been like changed. I do this with a lot of MOBAs actually. So I'm able to see and compare like what, how the game has changed. And there has been a lot of stuff that ha has changed. Like initially there was a few pool of characters. Now they have been adding them more frequently, which is good. And in Strife, heroes don't cost anything. Everything is free, except of course the pets. And pets are something you choose as a companion. And they have a one ability and few passive abilities which help you out. They're kind of like summoner spells in League of Legends. And um, you're able to choose one pet at start. And then you are able to um, get these points which enable you to unlock more pets. Which is pretty cool. And you get these points from each completed match. There are also a crafting system, which has also been changed since the open beta. They removed the tampering system, but that's a long while ago. But the crafting system is, let's say, it's a bit more simpler than it was on the start. But, you know, I might make a tutorial about it later on. And how has the... otherwise the game has uh, changed? Well, I think there's many, many factors have been changed as, as the lever system. So there's a... Interesting lever program system if people leave games in a row they get like a ban to uh, Like uh, leaving two games is a 30 minute ban You can't play any games in 30 minutes and this will like stack up to higher bans And I think it will lead up to some like two days or a week or something And it's still on like progress progressive leaving system so levers get punished from the game and that's a good thing because nobody wants to play with levers and that's something that everybody wants to really avoid. And uh, a lot of the other stuff, of course, have been improved, like matchmaking. And the start, we only had custom games. We have, of course, servers for Russia, Southeast Asia, North America, and Europe. That is great. Uh, pretty high pings, pretty good pings for Europeans and North Americans overall. I think the servers are pretty damn great. Um, nothing to complain about that. Um, I think Strife is a really good title it is really good um, if you're really sick of playing league or dungate perhaps this is a good alternative because you don't need to play too much because every hero is free like i said you're able to access all the content in the game and you you are not like forced to grind too much of course the crafting costs but i think those numbers have been adjusted quite well so it doesn't feel too grindy to unlock stuff of course the game has like achievements and all this kind of cool stuff in the side. But one thing I also want to talk about in Strife is a very very great tutorial. So if you're new to the MOBAs, you will have a really easy time after doing the tutorial. The game has also a single player campaign which like follows the storyline in the game. Which is great and uh, as of the open beta the first chapter was released. Of course in the tutorial some of the lore is already discovered as of Capri's story. And the second storyline will follow Bastion, who is one of the characters. And this is like a 20 minute long uh, single combat campaign with uh, multiple episodes during uh, will like being added to the game af after, after time. And I will be doing a, a separate review of that, so stay tuned for that. But let's talk about the other stuff. And Strife has a, like a cool, cool ideas taken from other MOBAs, so it doesn't have denying. It has a last blast hit system, but if you're laning with your friend, the gold gets split in half. And then you have a courier system, but you don't have to micro the courier like you have in Dota. You just simply click a G button and the courier comes from the base and travels the items for you. The courier cannot be killed or anything. Also you have the out of uh, gompad region, which means of course that when you waited like 20 seconds or something, you will automatically start regening uh, health and mana, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, the games like last much less than compared to other MOBAs. It's not turtle-like, it's very 
you could say it's a very snowball-like, but that's good because a lot of the other games like Dota and League and Dawngate, these games can last to 15 minutes. Average Smite game is anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes. And of course, in competitive play might last longer or more or less, but overall it's very... You don't have to wait too long in the games, which is really great. But just a final thought, Strife is a really great alternative MOBA and it's if some people who are looking for something different, this might be the game for you. And, you know, please use my referral link because I want to go to USA. So, those who don't know, the one guy who gets 1,000 referrals. So, you have to play five game games. Play five games and then the referral will be counted. So, when I get 1,000 referrals, uh, I will get set to sent to the S2 game studio. And maybe I can do interviews, maybe I can film something about it. And it would be pretty cool to go there and to America at least. And hopefully you guys can help me out with that. And see you guys later. Share, like and subscribe for more content, more Strife stuff, more League, more Dota, more Dawngate, everything. See you guys.